one of the things that comes up here is it says that my nickname is registered and protected. So that's one feature that our server offers. Not all servers do, but ours does. And it wants me to let the server know that I am alt reality and that I'm using my correct nickname. So what I'm going to do here is do a nick serve identify and then I'm going to put in my password here but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and my password has been recognized so now I am live let's disconnect and show you how the uh, how to connect the other way so we're going to head go ahead and click the disconnect button there we go and uh, we're going to do it just with the command line now almost all commands in IRC can be done through the command line okay. so we're going to do a server otherworlders.org and we're going to just tell it port 6667 so notice the command starts with a forward slash all IRC commands start with a forward slash and then at the end here we've got IRC otherworlders.org colon 6667 we hit enter and once again same stuff comes by and once again I've got a register and all right and now I've been registered uh, been accepted again and now we can get into a little bit of nickname registration talk so if we do a help on nickserve it gives us a list of all the commands available in this service so it lets you register a nickname so that nobody else can use it um, if someone else does log in with that nickname then it tells them they can't chat until they either put in their password or change the nickname you can get help on any one of these commands with the message nickserve help command or you can just do slash nickserve help it's a shortcut that we've got set up we don't need to go into too much detail on this but mainly you want to register your nickname and then whenever you connect you'll use identify to log in to nickserve so that you can use your account and on our server if you don't use it within 28 days it'll get deleted so not too big a deal uh, just something to be aware of so now what we're gonna do is uh, get a channel list so I'm gonna bring this window back a little bit smaller and we're gonna do a slash list remember all commands start with a forward slash and here is a list of all the channels on the otherworlders network now what you can see here is that dnd 3e uh, that's our biggest channel with 28 people right now and uh, sometimes that gets higher uh, if there's a special event going on or something like that uh, but you can see a list of all the channels with all of the the number of users in each channel sorted from highest to lowest and uh, then there's the topic of what's going on in that channel right now if you scroll down here a little bit here is a training channel this is the channel that I've created for this chat so I'm gonna go ahead and join it and you can see alt training is already there that's me running on another computer actually so what we're gonna do here is say hello everyone and then from the other window I can say hello alt you see that you can chat back and forth here now one thing that you can also notice is that the at symbol here next to my name next to the alt training name indicates that my alt training login is an operator in the channel there's a couple of other options that you can do and I'm actually going to just message these to myself so that you can see both the the command and then you can also see the result so let's do a slash me scratches his head and you can see in the channel it says alt reality scratches his head as an action and it, it lets you do a kind of a descriptive thing rather than just chatting if we do a message you see up here on the top we get a little flashing window with my name this is a private chat window actually and this window basically allows us to chat back and forth now everything is doubled because I'm messaging myself so I'm sending a message out and it's coming into the same window that's why it's doubled but it's no big deal 
Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and close out of here. And the next command we're going to look at is change your nickname. Um, a lot of times nickname changes are used if you are going to step away from your keyboard or if you're going to go, you know, get a sandwich or whatever. You can do Nick Alt Sandwich and boom. Now I'm known as Alt Sandwich and people can tell that's what I'm doing. You can also do things. Just say Alt Away and then they know that I'm away. This is so that anybody else looking down the channel list will see that name. It doesn't have to include part of your own name. You can be anybody, really. Um, just remember that if you use a nickname that is in use by someone else or that has been registered by someone else, it will tell you that nickname is in use and that you have to use the identify command through nickserve. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my regular ID. Oh, see, and then we get a, a timer in here that won't let you change your nickname more than three times in about a minute. So let's see if it's timed up yet. There we go. And it wants me to identify again. So let's take care of that real quick. All right. And now I'm registered again. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and clean this up and close out of the list of channels. Okay, and now we're in the training channel, and here's another way to note that you're away. Just type away, I am eating a sandwich. Okay, and now my nickname doesn't change, but if somebody tries to send me a message, it says in the status window, all reality is away. I am eating a sandwich. Okay, so we can just do a away command again to return from being away. We're no longer marked as being away. Basically, that's a way that you know if somebody sends you a private message, they'll get a response back that says, "Hey, I'm not here right now, so come back later." Let's see what a who is does. Forward slash who is alt reality. Now. Here is some information. Uh, here's my IP. There's my host name. It says that I'm a registered nickname, and that I'm on the channel training, and here's the server that I'm using, kisanth.otherworlders.org. Uh, that's one of the three servers in our network, but if you just remember irc.otherworlders.org, it'll get you right in. And it says that I've been idle for 32 seconds, which means that I haven't typed anything for 32 seconds. Let's see here. Oh, this is the testing message I sent myself a second ago. We'll go ahead and close that. All right, let's part the channel. So if we do part, I am leaving. You have to tell it which channel you're leaving. It leaves the channel, and anybody else in the channel will see that message that you typed after the channel name. Um, another way to do it is just to click the X in the corner of the channel, and that'll just quit without leaving a message. Now let's go ahead and do a quit from the server. And when we do this, anybody who sees our quit message is going to see the message after the word quit. There we go. So now we're disconnected from the server. Now I'll tell you, there's a whole lot more that can be covered on IRC. It's a really, really big world of stuff to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end this training here. But one thing uh, that I want you all to do is go ahead and stop by otherworlders.org. Uh, stop into the channel MindWorks. That's spelled M-Y-N-D-W-O-R-K-S. And uh, say hi to me and tell me what you think of the training. And uh, if you'd like, we can see about setting you up with the uh, in-chat training. And uh, we can take your skills from there. Uh, feel free to join and ask me any questions you have. Or uh, really, anybody there is pretty friendly. There's usually five or ten people in there. So just stop by and say hi. And look forward to recording another one of these for you soon. Thanks.